Hi, it's Paula, and we're here with Urban Homesteader, and we're going to be talking tonight about burdock root, and it's a fantastic herb. I know I say that all the time, but I am in love with natural uh, remedies. I want to just be careful not to say medicines because I don't want to upset the medical community. I'm not a doctor. I do not have a degree, but let's dive right in. So, um, smidge of background, I've spent 30 years working with natural remedies and learning about my body and what it needs so that I can naturally use things found in nature to stay as healthy as I can, as long as I can. Um, burdock root is uh, amazing. It does several things for you. One of those things is it's, it's an antioxidant. Okay. Um, it can help you with diabetes. It can help lower your blood pressure. So this would be a medication, um, an herbal remedy, pardon me. Uh, it would be an herbal, herbal remedy that I am cautious with because I don't really need to lower my blood pressure anymore. Uh, it can improve your digestion. Um, it purifies your blood. It is a detoxifier. Um, it can aid uh, in re reducing or um, avoiding kidney stones. And it can support... A healthy hormonal balance. Um, I, a lot of the research I've done on this indicates that this is a good menopause herb. Uh, so that is something that if you are dealing with menopause symptoms that you might want to look at burdock root. So uh, when I look at an herb and I determine whether or not I want to use that herb, one of the things I do is I look at um, every bit of information I can find on what are the side effects of this. Um, again, burdock root can help lower your blood pressure. But if I need to use burdock root, I need to be aware that it can lower my blood pressure because I do not want to create additional medical issues. So, um... This is an herb that can slow blood clotting. Um, it can also create a reaction if you're allergic to a ragweed. Um, and it can cause gas and bloating if you take too much. Uh, one of the things I like to do when I'm using an herb um, is that I will use just like five drops to start. And then if I need to... If I'm not getting the desired results from that herb, then over time I will up that until I can tell that the herb is effective. So that's just a little bit about burdock root and uh, short and sweet tonight. So I appreciate you spending your time with me. I would love it if you would comment, like, share, subscribe. I'm going to be putting out a lot more videos here and just sharing basic information about the natural herbs that we have in the world around us and different things that these herbs can do for us. So thank you very much for spending your time with me and I hope you have a fantastic day.